Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to create this 3D text effect in Photoshop. Alright, so I see all these really cool sports uh, posters uh, going around with these like 3D text effects. So I went into Photoshop and tried to recreate it. And today I'm going to show you how. And it's actually surprisingly easy. It's just some layer styles and some textures and uh, that goes a long way. And yeah, I also think this video comes out around the holidays, so I'm just going to wish everyone a happy holiday and a happy new year. Uh, thank you so much for watching my recent videos, and uh, there's a lot more to come. Alright, and as always, if this video reaches 125 likes, I'm going to release the PSD for free. And in the meantime, I'm going to link everything I used in this video in the description below if you want to follow along. Alright, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so to create this 3D sports text effect, just go into your document of choice and uh, I'm using the font uh, Sumi. I will leave it in the description as always. And you're just gonna type out uh, your text that you want to say. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, like this. And we're gonna right click and rasterize this layer. Ctrl and T, right click and choose perspective. And we're gonna make it sort of like a tilt back just a little bit around seven degrees just like that and we're gonna start off by making our background color which is going to be a gradient and i'm gonna choose a purple gradient okay like so just flip it the other way just like that great next we're gonna control and j and make a duplicate of this layer then we're gonna press down control again and click on layer to make a selection then go to select modify contract i'm gonna contract this about seven pixels kind of depends on the size of your document and your text but yeah something like that looks good and we're actually gonna make a lay style out of this control and i to flip it and then go into lay style and when you add a color overlay and you will get this like stroke effect and uh, make this the color overlay like an orange color like a gold color then we're gonna go into our bevel and emboss and here create like the basis of our chrome chrome edge effect uh, so basically inner bevel smooth depth at um, 1000 percent i'm just gonna drag down the size just a little bit around six pixels and you can just copy these settings if you want to great and when you're happy with the lay style you can actually go ahead and rasterize it because we're going to add a green map make sure it's a clip mask and it will be uh, let's see white to black let's try these points closer to each other create another white point and another black point to get this like chrome effect basically just try these points until you're happy with the effect yeah kill like this we're actually gonna make this to blending mode pin light make a new layer above it right click and make sure it's a clip mask as well and we're gonna use the same color as we did for the color overlay i'm just gonna fill it in and then make it the blend mode overlay i think just try down the opacity just a little bit on the gradient map just try down the opacity just a little bit on the orange layer right here till you're happy with the effect then we're gonna focus on our purple background text basically we're gonna add an inner shadow just on the top part right here that looks kind of like like this not too much just to give the chrome stroke uh, layer just a little bit of an effect just like that great then we can go into my rigger pack and under grunge and textures uh, i'm gonna select this layer right here it's like half half tone layer i'm just gonna drag it over and we're gonna make this the blend mode color dodge instead Ooh, and we actually can restaurant the lay style and make it color dodge all right so i'm just gonna flip it Put it like in the corner right here and i'm just gonna make sure it's a clip mask i'm just gonna flip it and do the same on the other side as well just kind of like that just gives it a little bit of texture and something else going on basically and we're gonna create some more layers make sure it's a clip mask i'm gonna go in with the brush tool and i think it's gonna add some more like shadow right here to like the the edge of the text basically kind of like so yeah, looks good. Make a new layer above it. Make sure to click the mask as well. And go into with the black, like a bit more intense. We're gonna switch to white. We're also gonna create some highlights at the top, just like this. And we're gonna make this the blend mode overlay. But we're gonna dry down the opacity until we 
until we are happy with our gradient effect because we want it a little bit more intense. So yes, something like that. And to add some more texture and shape to our text, we're going to go back into my rigger pack and we're going to go into stocks and background and we're going to find this. We're going to find this layer right here. Just going to drag it over. Make sure that is a clip mask as well. I mean, kind of like so, that's good. And we're going to make this the plenty mode color dodge. Yeah, we're going to make a copy and make sure it's clip mask as well. And we're going to make this the plenty mode hard light. But the effects is a little bit too intense. So I'm just going to drag down the fill uh, first on the color dodge layer to run 30, 40%. And on the hard light layer as well to run around 30, 40% as well. Can I that? Just like some texture and shapes. Looks really cool. And we're also going to add some noise and we're going to go back into my regular pack actually. Go back to our grunge and we're going to find like a grungy texture. Can okay, like this one. Drag it over. Make sure it's a clip mask. And make this layer the blending mode called dodge as well. If it's a little bit too much you can always drag down the opacity. I'm going to drag down the size of the whole layer as well is to fit the text and drew down the opacity until we're happy with the little grungy effect that's been added yeah just like that looks really cool and now for the fun part we're gonna create the gold 3d part of the text basically so we're gonna make a copy of our ground uh, of our main of our main layer right there ctrl j just like this. I'm gonna press down shift and just drag it down just a little bit just to create kind of like an edge. Then we're gonna go into our lay style. I'm gonna add a color overlay and we're gonna make it like a darker brown basically. We're also going to add a satin which is going to be like soft light. We're just gonna mess with the distance and size. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter I think. So yeah, so it looks kind of like this. Yeah, perfect. And Let's make another copy. We can just rasterize or clear the layer styles so we can see the difference between the layers. And on this layer right here, I'm just going to drag it down for uh, for now. We're going to add like a like a gold texture. Um, so I'm just going to import that right now. Right, so it's going to look just like that. And we're going to make that a clipping mask to our text. Just make sure it fits all the way. Great, kind of like so. And uh, we're also going to add a drop shadow to our main text. So it's right click and to our lay style. And it will look kind of like this, like a dark brown, like a darker gold color basically. Blending mode multiply, distance like however much you want. Some spread like 30, 40 and just a little bit of size, one or two pixels, just like that. And we're gonna put it, put these two layers right here underneath the text and just use the arrow keys to drag it down however much you want. Let's make a, select these two layers, Control J to make a duplicate. Select the ones at the bottom, go down just a little bit again. You can see how we get that 3D effect that going, going on with the, like, the layers of the gold. And if you think the edges between is a little bit too much, you can just go ahead and change the drop shadow. Maybe change the distance to like three pixels. It's gonna do that on the other layers as well. So I'm just gonna do it one more time. So that is our gold 3D part. And we can just select all these layers, make it a group. And to really sell the 3D effect, we're gonna make a new layer above it. Make sure it's a clip mask. We're gonna grab our brush tool and the color black. We're gonna paint in where you think there will be like some shadows from the main text. So let's focus on the S right now. There will be some shadows right here on the edges, here as well, maybe right here, like in the corners. And just do this like for every, every, every letter. Just kind of like that. And we're gonna make this the blend mode overlay. Great, just like that. It's gonna dry down the fill just a little bit. Then we're gonna make a new layer. Make sure it's a clip mask as well. Grab our brush tool and then we're gonna add some highlights. Oh, I forgot one thing actually. On the last layer of our 3D part, we don't want to drop shadow. So just gonna hide that. So it looks like, like there's an end to it basically. So go back to our clip mask layer. I'm gonna grab like a yellow gold color off it. We're gonna add like the highlights to it. 
down here on the text and maybe right here as well and like so we're gonna make this blend mode color dodge and just drag down the opacity or the fill just a little bit right awesome just like that that makes the, the 3d part a little more like the dynamic and fits in a little bit better with the text all right i think that looks really good actually uh, I switched to black for our next part. We're gonna add some effects uh, just to sell this effect a little bit more and make it fit in with whatever image you, uh, you are making it in. Uh, first off, I'm just going to add a little bit more of our uh, inner shadow to our background um, purple part of the text. So it's gonna add an inner shadow and size and the distance. It's gonna make it a little bit more intense like that and i think that sells the the 3d part and the, especially like the the golden stroke uh, chrome effect that we did in the beginning uh, i think that looks really good and we can actually make everything into a group control and control and j control and e and we're gonna add a threshold just like this make sure it's a clip mask and you can just drag down, drag up the level just a little bit so we only get these highlights on the text. Then we can make a solid color. And we can have it like this like golden orange color basically. Make sure it's a clip mask as well. And then make it the blend mode multiply. Select every layer that we just made. Control and E. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So we're gonna add just a slight blur to it. Like three pixels, yeah. I'm gonna make this the blending mode. Yeah, I think a linear dodge add. Just adds just a little bit of glow, uh, which makes the textures looks a little bit more realistic. We are also, I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna go into my rigger pack, the second version. I just add some, uh, I'm gonna add some flares. So I'm just gonna take, I think this one, drag it over, and it's a little bit big and a bit too much. I think we can just make it a different color like so make it a bit smaller just add some some flares here and there where we want some extra like glow you can actually just control and t and just flip it if you have like some part of the text that it's uh, yeah a different way i don't know here and there just like that and i think i'm just gonna do some small adjustments uh, like for example we're gonna make the uh, like this uh, geometric shape that we used i'm just gonna make more is a little bit more visible and uh yeah, stuff like that. I think I'm also just going to add just a curves layer to our purple part of the text. Just add a little bit more of like a some color and some contrast. So yeah, just like that. I think I think that looks really cool. And uh, yeah, that is how you make a 3D sports text effect. And uh, what I really like about this is like the texture on the on the 3D part and uh, you can choose like a like a gold texture or any texture you like and you can change the color of it and uh, yeah whatever you like and as always if this video reaches uh, 120 likes no make it 125 likes i will release the piece diff so you can just download it and go in and check what i have done more precisely and uh, and yeah and uh, in the meanwhile i will leave everything that i used in the description below so you can follow along and I hope you enjoyed and I think this video comes out uh, somewhere around Christmas. So I wish everyone a happy holiday and uh, happy new year depending on when this video comes out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe learn something new and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.